So, Paul, why did you pursue the idea of getting an awning over the deck in the first place? Well, we moved into a house that was essentially uncompleted, although we didn't realise that at the time a previous owner builder had already done some good things like putting in double glazing, but we just found that it was in the middle of summer, uh, peak temperatures, it was almost impossible to live in. As a result, we uh, thought we needed to do something about covering the deck to at least get rid of the uh, reflected heat from the deck and obviously in winter to um, be able to move it up to get the sun when we needed it. What about this idea of combining PV with shading? Um, what are the benefits of having PV in the first place and, and is it okay to, to have the awning actually as the PV system? Well, uh, I guess we've got the best of both worlds in that we've got the livability benefits while at the same time achieving um, energy savings benefits. So using the uh, panels as the actual awning material gives us both uh, the awning function and the livability benefits while at the same time saving energy. And how's that energy saving working out for you? Are you um, finding it a smooth transition or are there a few uh, teething issues or learning curves? Well, you do need to work at it a bit because uh, the benefit in having the panels is to use your own energy, self-consumption, which does mean changing around your energy usage patterns a little bit. And um, it takes a while to get used to not turning things on until, say, 10 o'clock in the morning when the panels are really delivering their, their maximum power. But yes, we've definitely got some savings already, but there's more potential. So uh, to motorise the awnings, we uh, simply used a couple of hoist um, motors from good old Bunnings and fitted them to the uh, gantry uh, in which the uh, awnings slide, while the switches were incorporated in our friendly uh, power box here. And we used the, exactly the same switches that came with the, um, uh, the hoists, and they worked perfectly up and down and emergency if there is one and it's uh, nicely uh, kept uh, weatherproof uh, in the box. And, and out of grandchildren's reach? Absolutely safe because uh, there is a key and uh, only grandpa knows where the key is uh, because grandkids have already expressed an interest in uh, having a go themselves. I'm sure they have. Yeah. Other shading work that was done was adding this large external Venetian style blind to those east facing windows which had been copying a lot of early morning sun and causing the house to overheat and they can be controlled which is a nice way of getting some winter morning sun in when you want it but you can keep all of the unwelcome overheating sun out. As Paul mentioned the house was built with double glazing which is great but it also didn't get a lot of insulation so we had to add that. So we added some insulation which we pumped into the ceiling and it's only just been finished and you can see, perhaps, hopefully, the little traces of the patches on the ceiling where the holes were drilled to pump the insulation in. The other problem that this building had that a lot of architecturally designed buildings still have is exposed steel frames. So these columns that hold the roof up obviously and do a very good job structurally were single skin exposed inside to outside so they were a big thermal bridge from the outside temperature to the inside temperature. So to solve that problem we put a layer of insulation behind a new colour bond skin so there's a big block of foam that completely covers the steel and insulates it from the outside in and from the inside out 
and the same detail was used on the corners, just wraps around the whole corner. Ceiling fans were added, of course, as they should always be. But in this case, we also added air conditioning, which will run off the solar power, but we coupled the aircon and the ceiling fans. So the aircon was concealed discreetly into some voids, and the aircon and the ceiling fans always run together. A little trip from, trick from the top end of Australia where the air is chilled by and, and dried out by the aircon, but moved to give the wind chill effect by the ceiling fans. And what that does is improves the, the efficacy, if you really like that word, um, by about a factor four. So it reduces the load on the aircon and therefore it's energy demand by a factor, energy demand by a factor of four. Other things that were done to make the house more resilient were replacing the old timber decking with a magnesium oxide cement decking, which given the fact that we're in a highly uh, bushfire prone area here, was a really good thing to do. So we get rid of the combustible materials ex externally.